Boys, do I have a video for you guys today. So I have been having a lot of fun with this new farm strategy, Dartling Ninja and Farm. It's super good. But in today's video, I face the meta Druid Sub in Ice. So can we beat the meta strategy? We'll have to watch and find out. Let's go! All right, guys, we are on the map Sands of Time here with the strategy Omen, Dartling, Ninja, and Farm. And it looks like my opponent is starting with their Druid. So we might be facing a meta user here. So we're going to watch out. But um, yeah, we're going to start with this Red Balloon Eco. I'm getting around my Dartling here in a little bit. But this strategy I'm using is actually very good as well. So I feel like we'll, even if we're facing like a good Druid player, I feel like we're going to have a decent chance here if we just play this game well. So we're going to definitely focus on that. They're starting with a double Druid. Cool, cool, cool. And I will be getting my farm down here in a little bit with some Red Balloon Eco and everything should be Gucci. Kind of the game plan with my strategy is I want to take it decently late, believe it or not, with farms. And we're going to send them a giant um, round 32 BAD rush is going to be the goal here. So... That's what we're going to focus on, just greeting with my eco and farms and um, sending a big rush later in the game. And we should be Gucci. We have Oban as well to give us the wall trees to help us out a little bit and um, buff my ninjas as well. And then obviously ninja and darling is a great combo there too. So yeah, I think we'll be doing pretty well here. I think we will be. And it looks like they're going to leak down to their mystical um, 70 life count, my guess is. Which is expected. Let's see if I can get my increased production here. Nice. I can. And I'll have to go for a Dartling upgrade or two um, if they start sending me blue balloons. But it doesn't look like they're interested in sending me blues. So, I mean, that's cool. I'll just go for the greater production on my farm if they don't send me blues. Oh, I spoke a little too soon. I spoke a little too soon. They are sending me blues now. So let's get my um, faster barrel spin here. And that should be able to handle the blue balloons quite well. Yes, sir. And they get their open down. And they leak to the exact 70 life count. Wow, okay. They did a really good job leaking there. So... Definitely um, well played on the druid ends. But we will be continuing to go with blues until I get about 500 eco I like, and then I'll start spaced ecoing. That's kind of like the way I play it early on. I know there's lots of people play with a little bit less eco, but I prefer to get just a tad bit more than most people with this strategy. But I see, I definitely see um, the argument for both ways, you know. I think both ways definitely have, a, um, have their own benefits and drawbacks. So yeah. I will have to go for some Dartling upgrades as well next round, unfortunately. So we'll have to wait and see if they do rush me there. Oh, I don't mean to send greens. No, I don't want to send greens there. Okay. They are going to rush me. Let's go for... Uh, I was going to go for my farm there. Okay, let's not go for my farm, actually. Let's just go for the upgrades on the Dartling, yeah. So I don't leak a million lives or have to burn a boost. And I'll just go for my farm once I get up enough money. Also, we hit our 500 eco mark. Actually, I'm just going to... They wouldn't even slow down my farms. Okay, yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just do that. Sorry. I'm rambling now, guys. I'm rambling. Okay, now we'll start to switch to the Black Balloon Eco, and we'll make some solid Eco there. And get the increased production on this lad. Nice, nice, nice. Once I get two increased production farms, that's when I kind of like to go for my um, Oban. Because obviously, you want to go for your Oban early, just to get certain levels on it. But you don't want to go for it like, at the very start, because then that would slow down your farms. So you kind of have to find like a good, um, a good time to place it down, without slowing down your farms too much. You know what I'm saying? I think after I get two greater production farms, that's kind of like the magical moment there. They're sending me a big yellow rush. I'm going to have to go for another dartling here. Actually, do I go for another dartling or do I just burn a boost? I think I'll just burn a boost eventually. After these yellows start pushing a bit, I'll burn a boost. Because that way we'll be able to greet for a farm earlier, which I think will be helpful. Okay, he balloon boosted, so we boost an um, counter to it. Oh my gosh. These are pushing, but we can get up our banana plantation. Absolutely beautiful there. I'd love to see that. And I will go for another dartling now. So that boost allowed me to kind of greed with my farms a little bit, which was, I think, a good move on my end. I do think that was a good move. Now we have 700 eco as well. It's pretty good farms, so we're chilling. We're chilling. Let's get the valuable bananas on that laddie. Nice, nice, nice. And I think I can greed for one more low tier farm here before I get up my hydropods. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to upgrade this one time. And they do have sub as well. So I'm probably going the meta strategy druid sub ice here as expected. So again, this is going to be a difficult game, but that doesn't mean we can't win. That doesn't mean we can't win, guys. And that's the goal. The goal is to win. Upgrade that faster barrel spin, and then I'll get the hydropods if I need it. Okay, they're going for an ice tower. Interesting. Don't know why they went for an ice tower there. I'm just keep going for farm upgrades if they don't rush me here. Because why not? Oh, I don't need to send group leads. Okay, we'll go for that. 
Let's just go for my um. Let's go for my hydropods now. He he allowed me to greet a little bit with my farms, which was nice there. Definitely was able to greet a little bit, which is always nice. Ooh, they actually are greeting a lot. So let's um let's force some defense on their side here. Boom boost. Okay, we forced a boost. Are they dead? Ooh. And they leak barely. Wow. Nice defend. Nice defend on their end. Okay, we're gonna re-rush them. Try to force a little bit more defense on their side. Okay, we forced an icicles. That's really good. That's really what I wanted to force there. And now we'll go for farms. Cool. So I forced exactly what I wanted. Um, let's get the thousand eco as well, just to look clean. And yeah, so we slowed down their druid farms a little bit, which was kind of the goal there with those rushes. It didn't cut, take too much money from me, and we forced a boost and slowed down druid farms a little bit, which is always nice. So now we just start saving up for a central market here. And our goal is to get a monkey Wall Street by around 20 with a thousand eco. That's kind of like the main part. That's kind of like the main um, objective I'd like to try to hit here. A thousand eco monkey Wall Street around 20. But to do that, we'll get up two central markets here. So once we get about 3,000 more dollars, we'll get this first one up. And then once we get, you know, 12,500 more dollars, we get the second one up as well. I don't know if I can rush them at all. Like, that's the thing. Their strategy deals so well against, like, early rushes. I don't know. If I can like try to slow down their druid farms anymore without setting any too big of a rush on my end. Which makes it difficult here for me. I would like to force like a reactor, but I don't know if I can do that. Probably best I don't rush. Yeah, probably best I don't rush here. We'll just farm on. We'll farm on. The one thing is you can't go like full passive on this map because you do get maximum farms. There's only like farm eight farm spaces. On a map like Mayan, you can just go full passive and get like 30 farm spaces and be Gucci late game. But this map, you kind of need to be somewhat aggro sometimes at your opponent. Because full passive just doesn't work since there's not enough farm spots. Alright, let's go for that. If he rushes me, I can sell this top farm and get up a rocket storm. Actually, no, I don't need a rocket storm. Let's just go for a boost here. And get another dartling. I don't want to sell farms is the thing. I'd rather boost and not sell farms here. I think it's the best option there. Is that going to regen on me? Yeah. Let's get a rocket storm there. I don't know if that would have regened on me really badly. I was kind of scared. Not going to lie. I was a bit scared there. So how much do you sell for? 11,000 and then these sell for okay that sells for 31,000 okay we'll be Gucci I think to afford my monkey Wall Street next round no I sold too oh I messed it up I literally messed that up I sold it a second too late and I didn't get it up I didn't get the $10,000 extra that's actually really unfortunate that puts me behind so much on farms. Okay. Well, that was a bad play on my end. I just messed that up. Alright, we, we're Gucci though. We're Gucci. Don't worry too much about it, right? Let's place down the trees. Target my dartlings away to make sure these fill up. And give me money. But yeah, that's really unfortunate there. I don't know. I could have definitely gotten up a second earlier and gotten the 10,000. They're doing really well on druid farms as well, so that's not looking too good. We get the trees with a bunch of money, which is nice, though. We'll get double banana research facility here and start saving up for my banana central. Ooh, I need a... Let's not die here. Okay, we're good, we're good. Those got kind of those pushed quite, quite a bit, which I was kind of scared of. The ceramics were pushing, pushing, pushing P, you could say. All right, now we need a banana central on the house. Again, I don't know what I can rush them with. I want to rush them with some DDTs just to force an impale later, which I can definitely do. But um, I think first I need to go for the banana central just to get that income going for us. 
But yeah, my farms would be so much better right now if I just got that extra $10,000. Because it's not only $10,000 extra. It means I can get my factory up earlier and then make more money from that factory and get more farms up earlier after that. So it's like... Missing that one income boost is not only $10,000. It's a lot more than that because it compounds, guys. It ends up being a lot more. Alright. We get our banana central up. Let's start spamming some ninjas here. Shinobi. We'll get this to a sticky bomb as well. Because we need the sticky bomb for... um. Round 26 DDTs here is always something we need. I can also sell this Rocket Storm. I don't need this Rocket Storm here m much, actually. I don't think so. Well, let's get the second. Let's get the re banana research facility up here, and then let's send them two DDTs, two fortified DDTs here. Alright, I gotta send a little bit more than two there. It's okay. We have to force the Icicle and Pale. Yeah, there we go. I sent a little bit more than I wanted, but it's okay. We still forced what I needed to force. And we forced a boost on top of that. That's actually really good. Really happy with forcing a boost there. Okay. You know, I don't know if I need to send all four of those. I maybe could have went with sending three, but I still think we got a nice result out of that rush. I still think we got a pretty nice result for slowing down his druid farms a little bit. Now I think we're going to save up for a Monkeynomics. The Monkeynomics should help me out. A I don't know if the Monkeynomics is actually worth it. I was just going to go for it because there's not enough space for a ton of BRFs. So I think Monkeynomics is the best move here. It's based on my trees as well. I'm almost there. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there. A few more crates. Where's the crates? Let's just get that up. Okay, nice. And now we fill up the rest of the map with BRFs. And we can get my um Master Bomber if they DDT me. That's the goal there. Master Bomber if they send me DTs. They have so many druid farms though. I don't know if I'm able to kill them with round 32 all out, to be honest. It's gonna be it's gonna be tight, guys. It's gonna be tight. Send them a fortified ZOMG. I mean fortified bad. And we'll start sending some spaced ones. Does this have 10x? This does not yet. Okay. Let's get that 10x boost going. Send another one. And we'll send all out fortified bads next round, guys. All out fortified bads will come out next round. At them. I don't want to sell any farms yet. Really. Actually, let's sell one, just so I can keep sending these spaced. We're making them waste a lot of money on first strikes, which is good. That's good. Looks like they're going to build up a super storm as well here in a little bit. They used a boost as well. I think that might be their last boost, actually. I think that's their last boost. Okay, they're out of boost, which is really good for me. Because they can't boost my all out next round. Let's just boost that. Send them two more. I need to pop this down. It's a thing. Pop it, pop it, pop it. I, I want to sell my mad. Well, actually, I can't sell my mad. It's a thing. I don't know. I wish I could have so so sent more, but I don't know. This might kill them.
The thing is I can't follow it up because the Superstorm will get everything inside. So there's nothing I can follow it up with to do anything. So I just have to hope that kills them. I just have to hope. It looks like it is. I think it's going to kill them. I hope there's still lo lots of ZOMG. There's still lots of bads pushing really far. I think we beat the meta guys with the strategy. That's actually hype. Let's go. Let's go guys. I I'm surprised we won there. Oh, that's great. Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more of this strategy, which I think is really good, then make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments section down below. Ryan Malik out. Peace, lads.